posted for them, but... Oh, here we go. We're underway. Let's go. We figured it out. Here we go. So, as you may be familiar with, the banning phase comes first. There's going to be six teams banned across the top here. Then we'll select four teams. Team one, team two, team two, team one. And then we'll ban four more. And then we'll select four more teams. And we'll have our game. He was being Papega. <laughs> All right. So, uh, China, first off the board, China. And second off the board, Russia. So the culture sieves. Nobody wants to uh, defend culture today, maybe. Or perhaps somebody's going to try and squeak in a cheeky Canada. Uh, on on Inland Sea, Canada would be a really good play with Russia and China out of the game. Because oftentimes you have stripes of... of um, Tundra, the top and bottom. So if you can get one of those for uh, for Canada, that'd be amazing. Ethiopia off the board. They are just crazy, super, super strong. Uh, a lot of free simmer. Oh, there goes Canada. So I was just going to say, whoa, Canada looking good now. Hey, Zaddy Gold, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. So all the free simmers are coming off the board. We could have a duke em out battle here. Uh, normally you see like the Scythias and the Zulus coming off of the board, but right now, not yet. The bans are, uh, are not, Canada was predictable. As soon as China and Russia went off 1-2, uh, there was no way Canada was making it to the selection phase. Uh, there was just no way. So here we go with uh, Zulu. There you go. So getting some of the OP. Scythia will probably be next, um, if I had to guess. And that will be a pretty typical, or potentially like maybe Catherine Dimitri. Uh, that would be a potential ban as well because sometimes she can be really tough to play against. Wow. I've never seen Gandhi ban before. I have seen the Gandhi playthrough. Like, Gandhi can go crazy, but interesting choice to get rid of Gandhi here. I wonder what that's going to synergize with as far as Team 2 selections. It's going to be very interesting. So JJ is going to get first selection here for wheelchair gaming. They banned... Zulu, Ethiopia, and of course China. So they might have a secret backdoor culture civ they want to play. Harold. So that's a good point too. I should have mentioned Ethiopia. Uh, or sorry, Harold. With an inland C, you want to control that C. You want to make sure you have at least one really good guy. So with no um. Naval sieves coming off the board in the banning phase. Harold, right out of the gate. You do not want to let Harold get into the hands of another sieve. Being able to control that inland sea with Harold early on is going to be absolutely huge. That is a very big get for, for wheelchair gaming. And you're going to want to see a counter here. You could see like an England play. But if you go England, you almost want to have two. You almost want to have England for the later game. And I was just going to say like a Hojo or a Dido for early game. So Hojo... And maybe they go England to pair with it. Uh, if you can get England and Hojo as a tandem on an Inland Sea game, you can really, really control uh, what's going to happen. So it would be interesting to see if they go that way or if they just want to stick with one naval sieve. And I don't know. I feel like you probably want to go with two naval sieves here. I don't know. be interesting. It's, it, keep in mind, Team 2, Astakos and the boys, they actually chose Inland Sea. So they have a strategy around this, right? Certain says they want to ban, and then certain says they want to go for. And knowing that they wouldn't have first pick, they would know that Harold probably comes off the board. So countering Harold's the big key. Hojo's a good counter to Harold. Dido is a solid counter to Harold. But with Hojo now, England later game, uh, I would like to see. Uh, I'd be curious to see if we're going to have uh, England. Nope. There you go. Ca uh, nope. Locked in now. Rome. Very strong. And Rome with the likes of Ethiopia and Canada and China and Russia all off the board. Rome becomes an interesting gameplay here. Uh, should be interesting to see how that works. Uh, Wheelchair Gaming going to get their next pick in. They could go England now and, and try to control the seas. Harold can keep uh, Japan off the, off the board early and then... Uh, <laughs> And go, but we're actually going to see. Are we going to see Catherine? Really strong military sieve. 
with the extra. I mean, not crazy strong because they don't have a, you know, but they they are quite. Um, they have a good strong mid game military unit, and then of course that increased diplomatic visibility is crazy. It looks like that got locked in. There you go. So interesting. One naval save apiece. Is Gorgo available? Hendu, Gorgo's always available. Just for you, buddy. Just for you. Um, nobody wanted to see. Yeah, there you go. Team two. Happy to see Molly off the board. Molly is would be a really annoying sieve to have on uh, inland or like on an inland sea game. So getting them off the board is a nice call. I'm surprised they actually didn't take them off the board in the first grouping. I'm curious. I want to ask them. Remind me to ask them about the call there on banning Gandhi. I know he can he can have a good tall gameplay with the right religion, but interesting call there. And there goes Victoria off the board. So nobody got Victoria in round one of selection, and Team One does not want them to be gone uh, to get them. Wheelchair Gaming doesn't want to have to play against them or select them, so they've taken them off the board. And there goes Dido. So more of the so it's going to be interesting. It might be a one v one action. It might be a one v one action going on in the uh, inland sea because there's not a whole lot of other options. I guess the other one would potentially be Katarja. Uh, would be a thought if uh, if they were to get taken off the board or not. This will be the final ban of this uh, game. Team one wheelchair gaming will get the selection in the next twelve seconds or so. Should be very interesting and mm, interesting. Okay, so Scythia is still on the board. Mongolia is taken out and Scythia is still on the board. Oftentimes, be interesting to see if, if one of these teams wants to make a choice to irrel uh, a teammate. Or sorry, an opponent, I should say. Looks like Basil is the potential selection here. Could be another head fake, like we saw earlier. But... Team Joy appears to be appears to be thinking that Constantinople is the place to go back to with the Byzantines. Be an interesting play. That'd be the first real religion. Like I mean, Harold gets a religion, but this would be like a spread religion crusade kind of thing, right? So that's interesting there. So that's. And Hojo could always get a religion with the half price, so. A couple religions will come off the board at least. Interesting, going to be a interesting game with Basil. Interesting to see their build orders as well, like their, their districting build orders, I should say. Getting Basil's districts right is, is an interesting, difficult thing to get. It, he, um, there's so many different things you need to do with their districting. And I feel like people sometimes get too many holy sites going with them. And it, and it runs them out of space to get their commercial hubs and encampments. And obviously their unique entertainment complex for their free units. And of course you need to get campuses up or you're going to fall behind in science. So be interesting to see their balance there. Poundmaker! I like. Me likey a good Poundmaker game. You guys know it. Cree can sim. They're a lot of fun. So right now we've got a Herald of the Seas. We got some some muscle, and we got a free simmer. Be interesting to see what their win condition is. Uh, Poundmaker could be their win condition. They might have a. They might have. Like I wouldn't be surprised. Like Death could actually take Cree here, and and if he gets a free sim, he just he can play this game. Although he's he's really good at war, he might actually just stick with Catherine as well. Uh, and then Yoda. So this will be the last pick for wheelchair gaming. Their their team will be complete in less than twenty five seconds. We will know. I would like to see another win condition potential here. Um, although a lot of the big win conditioners were taken off the boards in the banning phase. Interesting to see what happens here. Somebody can go tall science. Cyrus is another really good simmer. He, he has a military side to him, but Cyrus can actually simulate really, really well. So that they got, a, they got some muscle on the land with Catherine. They got some muscle in the sea with Tojo. And now you're going to have Poundmaker and Cyrus who... Can really sim so, so well. It's going to be very interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing an Inland Sea game too, by the way. I haven't broadcast one of these, actually. Most every other times, it's always a Pangea. So, Joy's going to finish off theirs. They could maybe use a little muscle, actually. I mean, 
there's nothing really, really strong. Scythia would be an interesting play here with all this simming going on here. Scythia could be an early sieve to arouse somebody with. I don't know. A little bit less predictable than the last couple games I've done as far as the teams got banned and and the teams that got selected. Saladin. So there's another religion off the board. So be at least three religions made if they're uh, locked in. And Saladin can sim really, really well as well. That could be potentially their win condition. That could very well potentially be their win condition. Looks like Astakos wants to play Saladin in that top tier uh, selection order. And then Consone is going to play Rome. DeVries is going to keep Basil, maybe. And then Trajan looks like he's locked in here. Uh, Hale. Oh, interesting that uh, JJ actually swapped down. Hale jumped up here to take Harold. Hmm. So Hale jumped up here. He wants to play the Harold. And no surprise, Death is going to stick with Catherine. He'll be tough to handle on the military side. And then JJ and Yoda are going to do the simming. JJ is an excellent simmer. I've seen him actually sim uh, Poundmaker. Uh, quite well before so should be some fun times out of out of there this could be a great game i'm looking forward to it a lot of really good players there's no papega going to be happening here and uh we'll see what happens in the map slow maiden wheelchair a uh, general i know <laughs> john said uh, that's JJ here. He's he's a good player and he can abuse Cree really good. He is a fantastic. Now, I did these guys game. Was that the last time they played Joy? I've done three three of their games and I'm trying to think if I know I saw JJ play a game with Poundmaker where he didn't go that well for him. Yeah, it was. It was the last time these guys played each other. And and it didn't go that well for him. He he was kind of in a tough spot. But if he can get some free sim going on, it's gonna be nutty. Excited uh, for some top tier Cree play though. Uh, I've just <laughs> that was pretty that was pretty rough to watch, Slum. Um, the biggest thing that the, the the toughest part about the Cree game was that they lost three of their three or four of their settles. Because Dido was spawning inland for some reason. They had they could have settled 15 cities on coasts and still not gotten in the way of Cree, who could have settled 15 or 18 cities and simmed their brains out. That was tough to watch. It really was tough to watch. I don't know how that game's going right now. Uh, it's still obviously ongoing, but we're going to see what happens here. From the first stirrings of life beneath water. Yeah, it's true. Like Canada was on just Canada was just free sailing. Like they were just they had like eleven cities turn fifty or something. They just they knew that they had lots of space, and they just spam settlers out of every city. They just went from like six cities to eleven cities like crazy fast, and they had such great land. Uh, they're, they're pretty sure that was going to be unstoppable. No, I, I agree, Slum. It was, yeah. I mean, I don't like to be too, too critical, you know? I mean, especially when it's not even the game that I'm supposed to be commenting on. But anyway, thanks for being here, guys. I'm excited. We are about to take a look at what could potentially be our map. We'll see. Zero culture victory defense right now with Mounties coming out. Germany is pretty fat. Yeah, you're not going to get through Germany, right? At the, like, at the worst case scenario, if you try to go for Canada, you're not getting through Germany. And Dido wasn't having a good enough sim to nuke Canada. Right? The only way to stop... The only way to stop Canada's free sim culture victory in that game was going to be... 
uh, Dido nuking Canada and then Creed pulling out a victory some other way. Anyway, enough talk about that. Here we go. There's our Inland Sea right there, ladies and gentlemen. And city-states are pretty well evenly spaced out. Rome must have loved what they saw because they instantly hit they instantly hit settle. They love in the 3-2. Two. two on base ain't the greatest. They're gonna love the resources up here. They got one threes, tons of hills. This is this is nasty. They had their iron to get online quick. Tons of niter. Holy cow. They're gonna love that. Uh has anybody else settled? Uh don't look. Nan Madal is the only coastal sieve. Uh, I would imagine they die to whoever's closest to them. Interesting little Pio Pio Tahi. Uh, the Byzantines just off the water. Uh, I'm just trying to look for other... Okay, here's Norway. And they are going to have... Hmm. This is interesting because this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, holy site. But it'll be a minimal harbor unfortunately yeah that's probably the play you could have gone here and put it there the holy site there as well and gotten the but the problem is then you need to be able to um get the tech this is this is this is perfect three fish uh out here two of them in the third ring will still be uh really nice but this holy site is going to be glorious right here this is going to be really nice interesting little mountain thing going on there um, the discussion to be happening right now, do we settle here? Who's going to buy me what? Are you going to buy me this tile? Are you going to buy me that tile? Interesting little right here. Uh, they're going to want to stay off the coast, but somebody's going to be able to grab that fissure, get a plus six campus, and sit on all this science. Um, but yeah, Arabia settling in with a lot of two twos, Grassland, Gang, Paris uh, settling in with an early Pantheon tile. That'll be good for them. Lots of two twos, lots of two twos. Really nice land there. Uh, Japan over here got a three two banana. Solid harbor, volcano action later maybe. Be interesting to see what their play is. Uh, two, 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 two. Looks like he's trying to decide where to settle. Probably the decision is: Do you settle the the maze, get the corn, and then buy the three two? They're probably discussing if they need to buy stuff, and also they realize that this they they're walking towards this. I think the maze is the settle here. This this gold will easily pay. Yeah, there you go. The maze was the settle. Uh, they'll buy the three two here before too long. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, okay, here we go. There's uh, Persia. A uh, couple two twos, some strategics. Pretty flat land, but they're they got some solid strategics. Horses in the third. They got spices over here. Not a lot of fresh water, as is the case typically on inland sea. So let's take a look here. So we have let's take a look from the perspective of the team so we can kind of see how things set up. So you've got Astacos with um, Arabia is wide open all by themselves here now the one play will be is if japan could ever get down this coast to protect them some but the one sieve probably on their team that they probably want to free sim with more than any other is arabia and they're all by themselves and then the other three are all tightly knit over here and you know you don't need these guys to be tightly knit right like especially rome could be front line and, and fighting people. These guys need to get their sim on a bit. But then they can crusade. So interesting choices there. Now let's take a quick look. Also at team 2. And how they look. Um, and so our naval sieves are on opposite ends. Long ends of each other. And Paris is actually going to be fine. Sorry. Uh, France will be perfectly fine on their own. They can, they can do their own thing on their own. Death will be fine with that. And then these guys over here, Cree will have free sim for days. And so like, so these guys have got, right now, it is absolutely heaven. This map is absolutely heaven for, uh, for wheelchair gaming. Because they've got Cree and Persia on free sim. Persia could always push uh, Arabia. 
And then a uh, good solid spawn here for Norway. He can go gold for days all over these coasts. Not a lot of sea resources. Uh, tons of sea resources down here for Japan if they start spawning along this side. Uh, Going to be a very interesting game. I'd be surprised if Joy wants to stick with this map simply because they're one free simmers all by themselves. And the, they're going to know that the free simming is happening over here. So be interesting. Yeah, this very much favors Witcher Gaming. Yeah, Arabia dies here. That's the thing is Arabia between France and Persia. And now I mean, these mountains are going to be hard for France to push through. But Arabia probably dies here to um, to Persia. And that's just bad news for them. So they probably re remap this. What Pantheon will France take? Oh, I, I'm not even sure. Um, they won't want to deny anything good to their teammates. They could just blind. They could just go uh, blind on strategics and then they would hate themselves because they don't even have iron. Um, I don't even know what they would want. Maybe just take the free builder. Hard to say. Don't see anything obvious. I don't think it's going to matter. I think like, like chat's saying here, I think this is an easy remap. And I think... That's the thing too about Inland Sea is that you can almost tell instantly based on where people are. Because sometimes on Pangea, you get weird looking Pangeas and you don't know who is next to each other. But on this, the map always looks the same. And you know that Cree is on free sim mode and that, which is on the opponent's side. And you know that your free sim sieve is on their own likely to be pushed by somebody. Uh, somebody, oh, free, yeah, free simming is just on their own. Focusing on building up, getting lots of cities out, building their districts. Don't have to worry about military. Um, so, like, they can just, they can literally just build the minimal amount of military and then just spam settlers, get tons of city, uh, get their districts up, work on their economy, and just go, go, go. You can see the tile purchasing happening here uh, out to the gold tile and then to the 3 2. This city is going to hyper grow super early. Uh, with the gold, 3-2 there. They grew to that. They're fine. They could probably use a 2-2. Two, two, or actually, even the 1-3. They don't have a 2-2 two, two available. A 1-3 to work with a 3-2 wouldn't hurt there. Uh, they grew to the sheep. Uh, it's turn 5. Scouts are coming online. Two, they might have actually bought... They bought a scout for, for these guys. These guys were on their own. Typically, the, the sieve that's on their own, you buy them a scout. Um, and they haven't, I haven't seen them buy a scout here yet for Arabia. I would have liked to have seen Arabia have a scout purchase. They went scout settler. Uh, this guy's beelining it towards Persia. They'll probably actually meet before turn eight. They're about to, they're about to meet next turn. And that will be, if it wasn't already decided, that will be decided, um, right there. And especially like not having a corner, like there's not a lot of good cities for these guys either. The mountains are in the way. And then this is it. Then you're into the into this. Um, being up here on the sides in the corners, like you can see all this land that that Cree's gonna have, right? That's so much nicer. So much nicer to see. So um, turn six. Oh, my eyes always drawn to nice campuses. A couple nice campuses right there. So, uh, yeah, scout the gun, scout settler, three turns, four turns on settlers there, two turns on a settler here. Um, France has found Japan. They're going to beeline it for each other's territory. So Japan's going to know that they need to protect themselves from a France scout. Got to like all the vision that they're getting here. You can see all the, you can just see all of the scouting that gets done when you buy that early scout, right? Whereas um, on the other side, with um, with these guys, you don't see nearly as much scouting done because it was just scout and then warrior beelining it. So getting that free scout is a big deal. Not free scout, but the extra scout up and running. Uh, heading into turn eight. So this will be the last turn before things happen. Uh, they they looks like they just bought them a, a free the Okichita. That's a that's always the play with Kree's buy them an extra scout Okichitas, get them up. Um, scout settler two turns two turns three turns on settlers two turns here. 
Uh, so I see that was Lisbon. Two turns. So everyone's getting their second settler out. We're going to just see. Um, I got to assume that... They're going to have the, the remap vote here. I just want to make sure... If it gets to one second, I'm just going to drop a pause just in case somebody forgets. Okay, there we go. Okay. So the rebat vote will happen. Danny, good to see you. Doomed, good to see you. Yeah, Arabia would be dead though. All by themselves. Persia will Persia's already will have seen them. I'm pretty sure they they cross paths. They must have crossed paths. They yeah, they've seen each other. Um Persia will know that they're they're right here, and, and France knows that they're here, right? So they've got them sandwiched. I would be absolutely shocked. In fact, it looks like they've already voted. I would be shocked if uh, the A's have it. There you go. Done. It's going to be a rematch. Because like as soon right away, Persia's like, okay, I'm going to get five cities down, and I'm going to rush Immortals, and I'm going to run Arabia over in this ball game, and then at that point, um, yeah, rematch next turn. Yeah, easy death. It was like, oh, I wanted that. I wanted that game. He wanted that. Or ease death, sorry. Death. Uh, you'll be resynced to the new game once the host uh, has fully loaded. Okay. So it's interesting that they're going to just do the remap function. The, um, the multiplayer helper mod allows for a remapping function. But in the CWC, in the actual CWC there's actually a rule that you don't use the remap function. You actually re-lobby. Everyone selects their sieves, and then you start a new map from scratch because oftentimes, maybe they fixed it, but the apparently the re-lobby within the game uh, tends to bug out, and then you end up with lots of desyncs and stuff anyway, so... Yeah, he was, he was loving his life. Death was loving his life. He had a three food base. Uh, he had a faith pantheon. I uh, got a faith tile to get him a pantheon. Two two tiles for days. And he was about to go harass Japan. Uh, from the land. He was going to have a lot of fun with that, I think. But. That will not happen. None of that will happen. It's like it, nothing ever happened. What happened? The draft just finished. Poof. Here we are. Time to look at another map. I think they also bought a scout for France because there's no way Death uh, wasn't screaming into his mic to buy him one. Yeah, <laughs> very good point, General. He'd be like, give me a scout right now. No. Um, it just makes sense. that, Generally speaking, whoever has the most scouting to do, you buy them a scout. Um, you make a good point. But yeah, generally speaking. So if you have like two or three guys kind of grouped together and they can mostly just fill in the blanks between themselves and then spread out they don't need as much information as somebody who might be all on their own right you want them to find out where the other civs are excuse me here we go and norway has a very interesting lots of hills they've got amazing inland tiles um Not bad. I mean, you're going to have decent setup. A little bit. You're going to have a little bit better harbor. You're going to have a great fish to work. A couple more in your second ring here. Or third ring. The holy site's not going to be nearly as amazing, but still fine. Uh, has anybody thrown down their city yet? Uh, Japan. On, ooh, so a little bit closer together this time. Much closer together. That's going to be very interesting. Uh, one, two, two tile, some solid tiles out here. Not the greatest spawn, really. A lot of wasted mountain tiles. No resources. This is a bad spawn for Japan right here. And they've just, um, they've just used up their respawn. So they're going to have to live with it. Or uh, sorry, their, their, their token. They might have, they might actually have more than one token left. Because it's for the whole thing, not just for the one. Uh, you probably settled the stone here. For the 2-2 base. Crappy spawn though. All that wasted mountain tiles. Let's take a quick look from the perspective of each team. So much more spread out. This actually... 
isn't any better. This isn't any better. They're extremely spread out. From the other side's perspective, uh, also very spread out, but... Um, where is... Oh, here we go. So these two are together. So, uh, so Persia and Cree together again. So they'll be able to have gorgeous trade routes with each other and free sim for days. Making it like bandits. And then France is perfectly happy all by themselves, although they are on the coast. 2-2 two -two base. He'll actually have to get aggressive on the coast. You actually don't mind that as France. You can, you can live on the coast a little bit with your, with your diplo visibility. And you know that Norway is going to protect you. They're, they're going to be wondering if Japan's down here, but they're not. Um, interesting stuff. I was watching Falcon stream the other game. Yeah, Danny, I've, I've noticed that as well. Yeah. I don't really like to use the search function that much anyway. I mean, there's certain times where it becomes advantageous, but. All right. So, um, He's got mountains protecting him here a little bit. Unfortunately, he's going to get destroyed by death. Two twos are overrated tiles. Um, like, yeah, again, I, I don't know what to tell you. They chose Inland Sea, and they've rolled two pretty bad maps. Um, it could get slammed by Norway. I mean, Japan is, Japan's great, right? On the coast. They have that bonus on the coastal tiles. Uh, just got a recon unit out of a hut. That's pretty nice. Um, but it's going to be tough. They have, like, look at this. All this, this land is blocked. They could put a city here, but that's garbage. They, ca they can't even get to here. I mean, Japan's just got a terrible spawn. All of these mountain tiles blocking off everything. Just a terrible spawn for Japan. Whereas Norway, um, they can jump down here on the Niter. They won't know it's Niter when they spawn it. They could jump spawn here. They got some nice solid cities along here. They won't need to worry about these guys. Taking, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be interesting. Let's take a quick look at our city-states, actually. Uh, four... Religious city states, so that's a very good thing for um, for Astakos and Saladin. No science city states at all. Couple three military, three culture, couple no industrial either. Yeah, no industrial and no science. Really bad. Well, not bad mix, but unusual. Cairo's on a river, I believe. Yeah, it's it's hard to see it because this gets in the way, but it is a full river here and here. Uh, lots of two twos. Be interesting to see how they defend. Like they can defend the passes here from getting hit. I mean, it's a long ways from Korea as well, so it's really just about this. They could actually get over here. A lot of desert. Ugh. Terrible spawns twice in a row. Really nutty spawns for Astakos twice in a row here. And I don't see any reason why. Wheelchair Gaming isn't going to want to run this out. I mean, this is... Being on the water here is not ideal, but he can get a nice settle right here. Settle those horses with two twos. That's a beautiful second city. He's got gorgeous wonder back in here. You settle the oranges. You settle this. You settle the oranges. You scoop this up. And it's ball game. you got to love that. Recruit uh, to the 3-1. Working some two twos here. Interesting little, interesting little settle right there. Actually, yeah, you want to settle this, I suppose, because you wouldn't be able to get your boats out. I don't think. Oh no, you could, you can. Well, you can go over top of that, right? I am trying to think now. You can't put a harbor there, though, unfortunately. So you'd have to go here, put the harbor. Interesting though, because as nice as this is for Norway, uh, free recon unit. As nice as this is for Norway, they are isolated, and Japan. And uh, Byzantine can actually combo this right here. The Byzantiums could uh, get him on the land, and Japan can get him on the sea. And Japan is a good counter. 
to Norway. Like they're 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 jo- they can actually hold up pretty good because as you know, Japan um has their uh what have they seen? Has their coastal strength, right? Extra strength on coastal tiles or not. So be interesting to see. Inland Sea game. This is crazy. Scout coming out there. Uh turn seven, settler and four. Do they go scout scout? I don't think so. Oh yeah, that's, that sounds about right. He doesn't have any strong tiles. Uh, let's see what the free simmers are doing. Um, they haven't bought them a an Okichita, so you might want you might see an Okichita popping out of here quite pretty quick with uh, purchase with gold. But look at all this land on the ends. Like this is where you want to spawn. You do not want to spawn in this area, right? This is where you want your coastal civs to spawn. You want your your simmers to spawn here, and twice in a row, uh, they've got a they got a crap spawn on the bottoms, like on the middle part here. You want to spawn on the end where it's just land for days, right? There's like no fresh water. You're gonna be, but that's the thing is too about Cree is they can spawn all this, and then they don't need fresh water. You go Cree, you don't need fresh water because you just spawn your uh, unique tile improvement. And you got you got it for days. So be interesting. Japan, that's the other thing too. I just thought of this, and they've already met. This is terrible news for Japan. Because not only did they have no settles, right? They've got crap, crap, crap land. But they're gonna get Persia immortals are gonna come for them, and it's gonna be very ugly. They're gonna want to get to their samurais ASAP. This is, oh man, another tough, tough map. Like he's, these, he's going to have these two units just beeline it this way and harass. They just bought him a warrior because he knows that these guys are coming for him and he needs to protect. And then he's also getting hit, like he's getting found out this way. Like Japan is in a tough spot and so is Cairo. You're going to have to at this point think, okay, what are we going to do? How are we going to win this game? Uh, you're just going to want a, an unbelievable free sim out of uh, Byzantium. Let him get a ton of cities up, spam his units, get his science up and try to run people over with his special ability. Rome can free sim as well. At this point, I feel like, okay, Astakos, don't die. Consone, don't die. And then the other two, like Kolga, free sim your brains out with tons of space. Uh, like he can just go crazy with with spot like with this spawn. Like look at all this planes. Just go crazy, get twenty city wide, and try to be a win condition. I think that's got to be the play. And then maybe Devries. Like the thing is, is he doesn't. He can he can arrel Norway, but he's a long ways. This is a long ways away to get to here. So Yeah, Persia and Norway are on the same team. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Persia, but this is Japan in the middle. Right? So Norway's coming here, Persia's coming here, Japan's getting swallowed up. Uh, General General dropped an F bomb. See, they they bought a warrior to tag with the settler. Slinger coming out. He knows he needs to protect himself. He's going inland. Maybe settling I don't know where he goes. Just settle up in the mountains, maybe. You're gonna have to go non fresh probably. Japan is in rough spot. The settler is gonna need a Hess court or he'll be in trouble. Uh Naked Settler action here. Probably going to that stone. Settle in the direction of Japan. And Tenant of Revo's about to be discovered by Cree. Settlers are starting to pop. Rome's is out. They've gone back to back. Theirs is about to pop. They're going to need an escort for it. Because Norway is here. I don't. These guys might not have seen each other either. So 
if you ever decided he probably sends in this way anyway but he's going to want an escort for it he went scout scout or they bought he probably they probably bought him one because he's got so much land this is dangerous this is he oh, i hope he's bringing this guy back because if this guy goes last turn here like if he at the very end of the turn he jumps to here and then first moves this he could shift enter it back if he wanted to but this is dangerous right here yeah japan is japan is completely in really rough shape terrible spawn norway is right next to them and persia's on land like the fact that they can't oh my god I, I mean, I've, you got to hope to find a way to, to live, I guess. M4, thank you for the follow. See, like this, he's going to see this. He needs to shift, he needs to shift enter this back in or he's gone. This has, he has to shift enter this back in or it's dead. He steals it. And he could, okay, he shift entered it back in. And then he'll have to escort it with this, the scout. So Settler out there, they're going back to back, like we said, back to back here. They actually got a builder out for their fishing boats. That's third ring, so a little pricey, but. Um, where is he? Did he get a Pantheon? He did. He denied God of the Sea. He will absolutely buy these up if he can. Those, I was going to say, how does that have two freaking, uh, at first I thought maybe it was a reef, but I'm like, it didn't look like a reef. And I'm like, was that a 3-2? He denied God of the Sea. Now, interestingly, perhaps it's interesting, but maybe... Um... Oh, no, no. So he's with Japan. Yeah, sorry. So the one saving grace that could be for Japan is if France focuses on naval. If he ever decided to say, you know what? I'm going to go naval. I'm going to help you out. Because could, this would be an amazing spawn for Japan. All this land... This, if they could switch spots, it'd be amazing. If these two on opposite corners could have switched spots, it would have been amazing. Right now, Death is begging for money to buy some more of these nasty fish tiles. But he's got some good inland tiles as well. Like He can boot that up. He's going to come and settle this right here. Uh, Norway's got their city online. Here come the Viking, work, um, Viking longships. Uh, two, two, not a great city, not a lot of good tiles, but, uh, he's already taking control of this pass. He's thrown down this city. He's going to get, Ooh, I don't know if I'd be going monument here. I, well, I mean, it's early enough that he, he sees this, so he knows he's not in too much trouble, but Monument Settler, when you've got this on the doorstep, did they just buy him a warrior? Oh, no, the warrior escorted. They bought the warrior back here and escorted. So if he last moved, he could actually kill that. Oh, he got it out. He shift entered it out. Slinger's on the way, but here comes the Okichita. Nine turn Monument feels Papega to me. I, I don't know. Second City is out for Arabia. They got their holy site up. Going to be a pretty good one. Be interesting to see where they go here. What kind of scouting have they done? Uh, they've been through the desert. They've met Muscat. They've yet to meet here, looks like. Um, they scouted all the way around through here. I'm not sure if these guys met yet. So they did get another scout. I think they must have bought them a scout. Because they went scout settler. They're thinking holy site here is already done. They're going to get holy site prayers up. They will be the only ones making points there. Be curious to see. No holy sites up there. He hasn't even gotten his settler down. Is he going to go coast here? Or is he going to here probably? Probably goes here. Yeah, Japan's second city. But they didn't have any choice. Where Where is fresh water? Fresh water is seven tiles away. This is the worst spawn I've ever seen. I, I think this is legitimately... Oh my god, look at this. This is legitimately... And he's working a settler in a monument still. The worst... The worst... 
spawn I've seen in a CPL qualifier or CWC game that I've ever done. It's just absolutely awful spawn for Japan. Yeah, they came and settled that lake as suspected. This settler is heading up here. Probably settled non-fresh right where he is by the 3-2. Interesting that they're, they're actually settling away from Japan and towards Cree. That's an interesting choice. I would be saving as much land as possible for Cree, and Persia should be forward settling. Uh, Persia is on bronze work. See, they don't know there's iron, but there's iron right here. I, I'm. A, this is an interesting choice. I don't know if I like that that much. Um, they need to buy a unit desperately. They need to buy them a unit. This, this is, all the money needs to come here. Where's Japan? There are 69 gold. They need to buy a unit. He needs more gold. People have been spending all their gold. <laughs> they don't have enough money to get him a warrior. He needs a warrior in that city. Well, Slinger do the job, probably. There's not enough there. Slinger probably does the job. It's not under siege. Yeah, Russia and Canada were banned, yeah. Yeah, on on um Russia and Canada will always be banned on Seven Seas or Inland Sea or any of the maps that don't have land masses when it's just straight land across. You'll always see Russia and China or Russia and Canada banned because you're always gonna have this. You'll always have this. One of them will have a spawn like this. You'll never get them to be not banned. Every game. Volcano's going off. Second settler out. Forest fire. We'll give him some nice tiles over there. He's going to settle there as expected. France settled here as expected. Then they'll want to settle the orange for the wonder. I got to assume that they've discovered that already. Yeah, they discovered the back side of it. So, and they've seen the orange. So the, he'll know the orange is the settle here, I think. Uh, the long ship is coming to siege. The capital will be gone. I didn't even see the... I knew that he was doing a long ship. He must have done one in here as well. They needed a warrior. And even still, I don't know what they do here. I think they killed the scout, which is nice. They need to kill this. If they can kill this, they're okay. Unfortunately, this scout or this slinger can't hit next turn. He'd almost be better off moving this slinger right here so that he has to kill it. It'll save him a turn on siege. And then the slinger can kill this warrior. This warrior gets a promotion. He's toast. Yeah, capital gone. Unbelievable. I did not see the legs longship coming there. Like, the, I don't know. And they're still working. Like, and this is the thing. Still working on a nine-turn monument in their second city when they had all this happening. Like, and they were, how long were they working on a settler for? Like, you know you have a crap spawn. You know you've got Persia and Cree over here. And you had to have known by now that Norway was here. Like, you needed to be spitting out warriors. I, I, I think it's, I think it's, I, I just don't like any of the play that came out of Japan. I mean, they were probably on tilt because they had a garbage spawn, but they just not they did not give them any chance at all. They gave themselves no chance. This is going to be a quick game, I think. I, I just don't know. I don't know what... I mean... Okay, so God of Appeal, uh, whatever you call it, Earth Goddess. This is insane. This is insane on... They could... These guys... I mean, you don't... Don't say GG's yet. I've seen worse than this... Happen to a team early and come back to win. This is insane. <laughs> How you doing, Tomb? Good to see you. Yes, the warring is on. Thanks for being here, guys. Uh, Tomb not playing in, and WCG is winning. Don't take this as a coincidence. I, I, honestly, though... Um, 
uh, Byzantium, did they get... So they got Choral Music and Crusade, which is what they want. Did they go Stonehenge? I don't know, oh, they must have... They just went one and then, and then Prayers, I guess. They must have just gone Prayers. They didn't even chop them out. I don't know how they got it so quick. I, a minute ago, they didn't have any points. That was weird. Hmm. So another settler coming. Yeah, so they are behind on settlers there. Um. I mean, and now they're into the... Did they even get the... They didn't even get the, the monument done. They bought a builder. They're going to chop out a settler. Where do they go? I mean, they're completely surrounded. Um, okay, so they did They did do the forward settle on Cree. I, I'm a little bit curious about that. I, I would have thought Cree would have wanted to keep as much land as possible, but... Be interesting to see what happens here with all this faith. Obviously, he'll get to his um, his ten turns. He can do a crazy monumentality run. Get super wide. Got lots of mountains, obviously, for campuses. This is kind of garbage, unfortunately. Um, yeah, they just and then this, like, you do not want your free simmer spawning in the middle of the map. You want them on the ends where all the land is. Uh, like, I don't even know where you've got a lot of good settles. I mean, this non-fresh down here. It's non-fresh here. This is garbage. Like, I don't know where, I don't know where he goes. I don't know where he goes. <laughs> Death should go 1% power. He's too strong. Uh, the lake settled. That was a cattle, I take it. Uh. No, it was a rice. It was a rice, actually. Double rice. 3 1. He switched the. T he went and grabbed this horsey. He's going to get horses online, and they're going to march in this direction. I mean, short of an absolute monster game by DeVries, and I mean an absolute monster of a game. This feels hyper over. That's uh, that's a that's about to be a dead scout. Third city coming for Rome or for uh, for Trajan. Well, Tim, I'm glad to see you got your internet back. I was quite disappointed that you weren't going to be in the game, but as it appears, things have gone. <sighs> appears that things are going well for your boys, anyway. It's always nice when you have to pass up a plus five campus because you got a plus six, right? You throw a city over here and grab the plus six. Oh no, you don't because there's a plus or a plus five. There's a plus five here. Rome with campuses for days over here. Look at this forest fire. This forest fire right here went off on him as well. Just gross. Just gross. They're about to lose this city as well. He's using a warrior protect his bill. Like, I mean, he was on a settler for a while. Like, why? Buy a warrior. I mean, at this point, this is over. The the blood, it's just, they can smell blood. There's a promo. Three Okichitas, a warrior. Here comes a scout and a slinger. Uh, you would think that Persia would be throwing up some warriors at some point. They're getting a general online. Here comes another slinger. Like, they're going to have Japan right out of the game here shortly. They need to do it quickly or else this city would flip, right? This, he's just he's just leveling off of this. He's just, Slinger's just leveling off Kyoto. It definitely feels... I mean, I hate saying it's over. I hate saying a game's over, but... I, I Again, the only, the only good thing is if this ever became an amazing free sim. If he if he just got so good so quick, came over here, took out Norway. But I don't even know what you do after that. And then you come over here and take out Rome. No, Rome's on their team. Yeah, no, sorry, Rome's on their team. 
Free Sim Rome is also the other thing. Yeah, I was forgot Rome's other. Free Sim Rome, if they could ever hold off this. And Crusade DeVries. I'm not gonna say it's over yet. I mean, this is disastrous, and I hate the spawn on Arabia, but I'm not saying it's over yet. Uh no, he got a settler out. He got the settler out. Got his holy site down, then he projected it. He had the second city out. He went scout settler. Getting builders online to improve his land. I would imagine he'll be coming up pretty soon. On... Yeah, early empire. He can put a settler card in, get a couple settlers out maybe. Warrior, I was just going to say, get some warriors online. Make sure this is ball game. I mean, you don't even need it. This is ball game, I think. The Japan warrior, I mean, yeah. It's under siege. He hits. Yeah, this is over. Japan's about to be out of the game. Yeah. Like, the the warrior... I mean, you get the warriors online for... Um, What do you call it for your immortals? But what are the immortals going to be for? I mean, once Japan's dead, just look at this map. Once Japan's dead, the next closest opponent is right here. Right? Or I guess the next closest opponent is over here as well. But yeah, the immortals will be irrelevant by the time you march them that far. So the warriors probably don't even need to come online at this point. Yeah, I mean, Japan, I, I, do, I don't like some of the things Japan did, for one thing. I don't like it at all. They um, they were working Monument Settler. There it is. They're out of the game. They were working Monument Settler for like four or five turns in a row in these two cities. While Norway was on the doorstep here. And... There was Okichitas and Persian uh, uh, scouts all over the place here. And, and you had to know that Norway was getting their longboats online. And then they would be on their way. I mean, how are, how are you working Monument Settler with this crap of a spawn and being surrounded? I mean, it probably wouldn't have made too much of a difference. But if you get out, if you put on a Gogi, get out two Slingers and two Warriors... Maybe you're still alive. You know, protect your capital at least. Yeah. They just got, they got, they got the gang in. Death coming down here to smash Jerusalem. Take out a religious city-state is always good when you're going up against um, civilizations who are going to be spawning holy sites. And he's pretty much just, I mean, he can commit to the coast now because um, this the only other person on the coast is his teammate, right? So he can commit to coast. Uh, he can come and take some of these cities if he wants, although it's not as defensible because Rome's right here. But he's got tons of nice settles back here. I'd be surprised if he doesn't get a settler on that orange here pretty quick. And then something back here. Like there. Settle those two. Maybe settle over here. I mean, it's... Uh, oh, God. I got to get my mind out of the mindset. I got to get out of the mindset of this game's over, right? The thing that really hurts right now is that wheelchair gaming is kind of free simming. And then out of the three sieves, two of them went and got a religion. So they're still sitting on two cities. They, they only have seven cities total. Versus 4, 10, 13 to 7, the city total right now. Does France even see that winner? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they've seen all of this. Uh, they scouted. In fact, yeah, this scout right there. This scout's seen all of this. Uh, I checked that earlier. He came all the way up. The and he, he's even seen the orange. And he's going to know that this tile is going to be mint, right? So the orange settle is the play. But he's trying to get builders out, getting an archer up to make sure he defends from Rome. Just do a little bit of simming. He'll get on, he'll turn on his, uh, 
He's got state workforce, so he must already have... Yeah, he's already got early empire, so he'll throw on his um, settler card here. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets it turned on right now. Get the builder monument done, get the settler card on, get two more cities out. That's right around this time, right? You kind of want to go two settlers earlier to your cap, get on, uh, turn on your um, settler card, and get your first two cities to produce another settler. Get the five cities quick, and you can see that's actually what's happening here with Cree. The warriors have been turned off. The monuments have been turned on across the board. Japan is out of the game. The die is cast. Here comes a third city out of Norway. Uh, here comes the settler. Of course, we saw earlier the settler came out. He had to turn him around and come over here because the scout was in the way. And he decided to bail. He's going to need to get settlers online. He is surrounded in here. But he's going to have all this land. It's They're just going to have to 3v4 him right now. Rome... Rome and Basil uh, here, um, the Byzantines. Rome and the Byzantines, coincidentally enough, on the same time, on the same team here, um, ironically, will have tons of space to free sim. The big key is for Arabia to stay alive and, and figure out a way to free sim this. He's got tons of trees, so he's going to just gobble up faith. With these mountains, like, could you imagine? Just imagine with me for a second. Bull Moose Teddy on this spawn. <laughs> Poor Jack would be rolling over dead if he ever saw a Bull Moose Teddy spawn like this. Could you imagine? <laughs> Japan had a really bad spawn and then kind of... Yes, I, it, was, it, was, it was literally... It was literally the worst spawn I think I've ever seen in any CWC or CPL game I've ever seen. Uh, he was right here. Uh, mo mountains blocking coast tiles here. Mountains blocking coastal settles here. No food res or no sea resources. Mountain tiles, just dead tiles for days. And only like what? I think this is a 2 1. Yeah, he had a 2 2 here and then the cattle and then this stone. Like just the worst spawn by far I've ever seen. Tomb Raider not playing in WCG. <laughs> See, people keep piling up on Tomb Raider. I was sad that he wasn't able to play in the game. Stop picking on my boy. Please. <laughs> Without me and hide an easy win. <laughs> there you go. Sub in, sub in easy death. or Ease death. Sorry. Sub in death and it's all over. Uh, but more builders coming online. Interesting. Maybe he's waiting to get to his uh, political philosophy uh, research and then he'll put this other card in. Hail and Yoda in. Uh oh. No more losses. Done. What are the settlers doing here? One here, another one in five. What's he going to settle over here? The maze? Settle the maze. The problem is this is the, this is very anti appeal right here. You have you'll have appeal here on these two twos. Actually, this one won't even have it. That'll be the only one that has it. You have all this. I mean, if you're gonna settle fresh, you have to go there. Otherwise, I don't know. More settlers coming. They know that they need to get wide in a hurry. Uh, two turns on the era. Yeah, I don't know. Let's we'll see. Not very much fresh water here for uh, Persia. This is going to be a rough game for him with the lack of fresh water. Um, Cree can, of course, handle the lack of fresh water with their special tile improvement. That gives them a full housing, but We'll have to see how that works. I just miss Ma miss Matterhorn back here. So interesting. Where's the other? No, there's lots of space here. I was gonna say if you could ever hold that pass, but 
this mountain range came further down, you'd be in a little better spot. Settlers coming online. Rome. Building that plus six. You got to build that, right? Plus six campus. You just got to get out there and do it. He just, and he's actually going to chop it out, I think. He's going to chop it out. Maybe both of these chops come in here. He has gone uh, Magnus Internals. Let's check out the other governors. We haven't taken a good look at the governors yet. Magnus coming in here for the uh, culture, which they're going to need. Early culture is the play there. Early culture is the play there. Uh... They're looking at like this city. They're going to spam settlers from here. Go early culture in here, I suppose. Tomb. Nobody is doing your Pingala internals. Super sad face. Early science in here, interestingly enough. So early science coming out for, for death. You can see him at the 15 science there now with that card in there. Or with that governor in there. John will do them. You gonna he's gonna put uh he's gonna put him in here. John is a believer. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was wondering why he had Moksha in the expand, and that makes total sense. Get and then what's it, what has he got in here? Three camps and a pat he's actually getting ready to do this pasture and a pasture here. So he is I never actually looked at this earlier. So he's gonna have five camps plus pastures for his internals. Uh turn on the old science. Gotta love it. What are these? Uh, he went Moksha as well. So everybody, a lot of people went early culture, which is generally a predictable play. Rome's going with the uh, early production and uh, food. I, I'm kind of like, I, mean, I like the Magnus inter or the Pingala internals, don't get me wrong. But the Magnus internals are also very attractive. I have to say, they can be very attractive as well. It's hard to, it's hard to call. Uh, yes, Pantheon. We'll take a look at Pantheons. We know, obviously, a number of them. Uh, God of the Sea was denied here by Japan. Uh, although they denied it from their uh, teammates. So <laughs> uh, We can go Pantheons. We've got Goddess of the Hunt. No surprise here. You can see those tiles beefed up with the um, food and production. So a nice little play there. Uh, craftsman, so you can see the production and faith on all the iron here. That might have been a blind craftsman, to be honest with you. He because he didn't have any horses, any whether or not he had iron yet, I don't know. Oh, CC'd. No, wow. Changed throughout the ages. History they just said screw it. Wow, that's a short day right there at the office, folks. I'm going to have to... Uh, maybe I'll go play a game myself. I don't know. We'll see. have to find some people to play with. Uh, guess we're through to the next round. GG's. Yes. So, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Joy was 4-0 coming in with World Trigger Gaming at 3-1. and The only defeat was to, in fact, these very joyful people. And now, uh, they're both going to be 4-1. On to the next round, where I'm sure Haydn and Tomb Raider will be in the game and off to the races.